So you've bought a DOS game on GOG to play on your awesome 368. Only to find out it's packed in a Windows installer. No worries. Most DOS games on GOG are the original DOS games. They're just packed with a pre-configured version of DOSBox so you can run it on a modern Windows-based OS. GOG does not support running most of these games on anything else. But we can fix that. Well, for most games. Some games, mostly old adventure style games, do come with the original game files but without the original executable to run it and instead include a modified ScumVM executable to run it on Windows. If you just want those game files for your retro handheld, you can use pretty much the same tactic as described in this video, but it won't work on your old 368. You can probably just find the original game files somewhere online though. Let's start with my first time experiencing this issue. I bought Doom, because I wanted the WAD files to copy onto my handheld gaming device using GZ Doom. GOG Galaxy would not let me install it on my MacBook. I contacted GOG support about this, but they wouldn't help. I, I should have checked the system requirements. After a bit of googling, I found InnoExtract, a tool to unpack installers created by InnoSetup. It's available for pretty much every OS out there including Windows. With this, you can just extract the contents of the installer as if it were a zip file. This will work on most DOS games on GOG. Sadly, excluding most point-and-click adventure games, as mentioned before. Let's have a look at the ultimate doom. I downloaded the offline installer from my GOG library. Run InnoExtract, followed by the name of the offline installer file. Ah, this is just too easy. The files we need are right there in the base directory. If you're going to use a source port like GC Doom, you only need this single doom.wat file. Let's try another. I log into my GOG library, choose games. Let's pick Wacky Wheels. Click on the game, make sure to select Windows and choose the offline installer. Note that some games do come with a Linux or macOS installer. In my experience, the Linux installer works fine, but the provided macOS package file is too old for a modern Mac to open. Again, InnoExtract, followed by the name of the installer file. Ugh, that's boring. You could remove all subdirectories and GOG game files if you want. Just copy the rest over to your DOS machine and you're ready to race! Let's try Wolfenstein 3D. Yeah, more of the same. You just need the wolf3d.exe and the wl6 files to run it on a DOS machine. Hey look, this one has a little extra. In the M1 folder there's the full Spare of Destiny game. To show you it really works, let's copy the game files over to a floppy disk and run them on an old laptop running DOS. First I'll zip the Wolfenstein files as they are too big to fit on a single disk. Alright! It all fits in a single 1.4 MB zip file. I'll connect my USB floppy drive and copy the zip file to this cool looking green save icon. Now I can unzip it on this old laptop running FreeDOS. There we go, let's kill some Nazis! That's all I have for you today. I hope this video helped you out in any way. Ooh, that rhymes. Thanks for watching. Until next time.
Oh. <laughs> <laughs>